Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and I have no idea what's in this box. I only know it's fragile. So I probably shouldn't be doing this right now. A skilled eye may have noticed that the packing slip had been removed by my wife. Well, you wouldn't have known that until I told you. I wanted this box, or at least its contents, to be a complete surprise for this video. It came the other day courtesy of Entertainment Earth, and if you ever want to get anything from there, be sure to use my link and I'll get the credit. So let's just see what's inside. Ooh, Hawkeye! And not the kind from Iowa. And... <gasps> An Iron Man! Both of these are Entertainment Earth exclusives. Hawkeye comes with a lightning bow, and I have no idea if it has real lightning inside, but it does light up. This is a radical departure from my childhood, not just because I didn't have any superhero toys growing up, but because batteries are included. Apparently, these two electronic toys can work together and not just because they're both on the Avengers. I guess that means I'm going to have to destroy the collectible value of these figures and remove them from their boxes. These two are a part of the Titan Hero series, and I'd imagine it's because they're very tall. Or at least taller than me. This guy's pretty lightweight, you know, for being very, 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 very muscular. Or at least more muscular than me. I seem to be having an issue clamping the arrows onto his arm. He's just too muscular. Okay, now I think he's ready for action as a figure. That's why they call him action figures. And he's even got a quiver on his back, which is exactly what you'd be doing if you ever saw this guy in real life, because, well, he's made of plastic. Not to be confused with Plastic Man, and I'm saying that you'd be quivering. And I think that's all it does. Okay, Hawkeye, you stand there. I'm going to move on to Iron Man and then see how you two work together. I'm a grown man talking to my toys. I'm a bit more excited about Iron Man, if only because he's wearing a mask. This Iron Man's also relatively lightweight, and as you can see, his weapon glows too. Okay, work together. Let's go fight bad guys. You can't turn Iron Man's head, nor can you turn Hawkeye's. But Iron Man will survive a fall on the carpet. The arm-mounted weapons, I'm assuming, is how these two can interoperate, because you can remove the arm weapon from one character and put it on the other, and vice versa. I like the sculpts. The paint application seems to be decent on either figure, and they're very well balanced. Look, it didn't take much work to get them to stand up. See? The back of the box clearly states, works with other Titan Hero series figures. So don't you get any ideas that you can start working with Darth Vader? It's not going to happen. I think I'm going to stand Iron Man by the door and keep Hawkeye at bay, if only because I don't want Diana to get any ideas. I think I finally found something that's wider than me. Thanks again to Entertainment Earth for thinking of me with these exclusives. I do appreciate them. I'm really rich. I'm really muscular. Is that really your voice? I was going to ask you the same thing. Seeing the movie's only part of the fun. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Wait a minute. I think we're in the wrong fandom. What else are you supposed to do with these things? We will, we will rock you. I bet the two of you weren't expecting to see that much action. What else do you think I should do with these guys, apart from maybe take a few pictures with them in the great outdoors, because it's always awesome to do toy photography? If you want either of these two or others in the series, be sure to check out the link in this video's description. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices.